Hello. I pray that you're well today. This is a, a unique week. The second day of the second year of going through this together. But I want to talk about anniversaries. Sometimes there are anniversaries that everybody knows about. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, Fourth of July. Everybody collectively knows what day it is, but sometimes there are other days that are only known to the person themselves. Like for me, I have some anniversaries, some sad anniversaries and some happy anniversaries, my own and people that I love. For me, July 21st is an important day. It's the day my mom left this life. For me, June 30th now is an important day. It's the day my brother left this life. This upcoming June 30th will be one year. Maybe you have things like that where you have a private grief that is remembered on a specific day. Do you have such? Clearly I do. I also have joyful memories, joyful days. I have days where my oldest child and my youngest child married. And they married wonderful people and they have great lives. And those moments on those days, July 23rd and December 29th, incredible days, tremendous days. I appreciate them so very much, and I'm grateful to God for them. We, we all have days, right? Some greater, some lesser. What are these days like right now? What's next? What's next in these days? I, I want to read to you where it says in Psalm 139, all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. I, I find comfort in the fact that God knew that I would experience sad days and joyful days and monotonous days and same days, but all their days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Teach us to number our days aright that we may gain a heart of wisdom. What's true? God has given me today. Today. And therefore, I can give God my very best today. That's what I'm trying to do. I pray you are doing the same. Give God your very best today. Maybe these are sad days for you. Maybe these are joyful days for you. Maybe these are anticipatory days for you. Whatever these days are, whatever those days are, may you know that they are a gift, the gift of days, the gift of hours. And therefore, we can turn in our mind and say, how can I use the time God has given me to be a gift to other people? All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. All the days ordained for me, God knew, even before things began, that some of the days of my life were very sad. Maybe you can think of very sad days too. Some days are very happy, incredibly happy, and some days are everywhere in between. This day, the middle of March, God has given you this day as a gift. I pray that we may see and have confidence that he is the one that is looking for, looking for us to know what is true. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Please pray with me. Lord God, in this day, we thank you for it. We pray that we may live it to its fullest. We pray that you may bless those who are needing your strength. We pray for Don and Fran. We pray that you would bless those who have lost loved ones and give them your comfort and your strength during this time. We pray that we may see each day as a gift and we may live it out as the gift it is. We ask you for that. We pray for that. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray God's grace upon you. Tomorrow is a day that we have the privilege on that day to give away things that you've given, food, clothing, household goods. If you have more, we're happy to give it to people who have need. Thank you so much. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for helping people in this highly unusual time. 
all the days ordained for me and ordained for you were written in God's book before one of them came to be. He knew. Therefore, whether these are sad days or these are happy days or these are days where you're trying to figure out what's next, please know and please trust that these days are a gift. God bless you.